As we discussed before the break, Moderna has started phase three trial of its COVID-19 vaccine. We were speaking with the CEO moments ago. Joining us now is Dr. Dara Cass, Yahoo Medical Contributor and Columbia University Associate Professor of Emergency Medicine. Dr. Cass, I know you were in the hangout here and you heard that interview. How significant is it that now that uh, vaccine has entered phase three? Is this more than just a headline, which you and I talk a lot about? It is actually more than a headline. It's very, very exciting. This is the time that we need to pay attention to the data and the results. Getting 30,000 patients, 15,000 in the treatment arm and 15,000 in the placebo arm is going to be very, very important to figure out the effects of preventing infection on patients in the real world. Remembering that, you know, we just heard that they're going to try to implement this vaccine in trials in areas that are hot spots because they need the natural infection of the virus in order to figure out if it really works. And unfortunately, the reason why we may be able to get this virus to market faster actually has to do with the pandemic itself and how prevalent the virus is in these hotspot places. We have so many patients to try it out on. So I think that as long as we are cautiously optimistic about this vaccine, we can be very excited that we're in phase three of a real world application. Dr. Kess, how um, the, this vaccine, is it likely that we only take it once and we'll never have to take it again in our life? No, actually, in fact, the vaccine itself, I believe, is being delivered in two doses. Uh, And a lot of these trials around the vaccines for the coronavirus are actually multi-dose trials. We know that this this virus and its response, we're still learning about the antibody response and also this other, this T-cell immunity response. So we still need to learn more about what exactly long-standing immunity looks like. And there is a good chance that this would be a multi-phase vaccine, if not this one, then another one. And Dr. Cass, Google this morning came out and said it is, at least reportedly, extending its employee work from home until the summer of 2021. You know, what does Google know here that we don't know? And should more companies and schools and the such um, be holding on? You know, should we be working from home, do you think, for the next year, possibly? So I'm definitely of the position that any company that can safely work from home, continuing to deliver its product to market, is really a very good idea. Because the less people commuting even just to work, right, decreases the traffic on, let's say, the subways, the buses, and the highways to keep essential workers safe on travel. I think Google's on the cutting edge of what we'll see from a lot of companies over the next few months, really recommending that that employees who can work from home, it helps with child care, it helps with flexibility, and it really helps keep our trans- transportation pipelines really as clear up as we can. What about schools? Do you think maybe uh, schools should remain closed given the, the news we're getting out of Google? So I think that schools themselves are going to have to make judgments on their local community. Any community with a virus that has a positive test rate of over 5% should really be looking critically at itself and deciding whether or not to open right now. I think what we're seeing is that companies and schools and other organizations that can stay home for now should if they're in an area where the viral prevalence is as high as 5% of positive test rate. 